All right, so I caught that right at the end of the uh, the 15-minute limit. So um, I'm going to basically um, jump right into this build query uh, method. So I'm creating an empty string, which is going to be holding my SQL uh, command or my, my SQL statement that I'm going to be passing back. So if my task is equal to store, then I want to do this else oops else if dollar sign task is equal to load I want to do this alright so now if I'm just gonna go right into the store so if my this the ID is equal to nothing so if it hasn't been instantiated yet I actually want to store it as a new entry in the database otherwise I'm gonna just update the database entry and overwrite what's in, in that record so and then else so now here we are um, inserting a new uh, a new entry in the database so I'm going to I have to create keys and values but as separate uh, separate variables so I'm going to do keys is equal to nothing and values is equal to nothing and then the next piece and this is the most important one what's going to happen is we're actually getting the variables that we create or, or um, yeah we, well we create in our class we're going to be getting those values back from uh, the class itself. So this is where um, this is this is what allows us to create um, an abundance of table objects and use them just the same as if we were to um, hand code all of them in here. All right. So now we're going to do class of oops class of vars. So the class variables equals get underscore class underscore vars. And then we want to, this we would have to pass in a class name. And we want to make it dynamic. So what we can do is get class and we get to pass in an object. But because we don't want to specify or hard code an object, we can just pass back this. And this will just say, okay I want to get the variables from the class of whatever class I am so uh, this just makes it easier to get the variables for your class and the last piece is dollar sign sequel and we're concatenating onto that insert into this dot table so whatever the table name is we're going to be inserting our record into it. Uh, so for each class vars as dollar sign key value alright so um, this will create um, an associative array of all the variables that we have in the class as key value if dollar sign key is equal to ID we want to skip it or if dollar sign key is equal to table we want to skip it so continue and we're not we don't want to set we don't want to save the ID in here um, yeah because we want the database to automatically create the ID for us so we don't want to manually enter one and then have a chance of overwriting one that's already there and then we don't want to be storing the table name inside of the table so that's why we skip over those two the last thing is keys dot equals so we're concatenating onto keys Oops, whatever Got a bug in my face. Um, 
whatever the key is. And then we're putting in a comma because there's going to be a comma separated uh, comma separated list and then the same thing with values. Value, comma. There we go. And that finishes this for each. And the last piece is dollar sign sequel is equal to in parentheses we are creating our um, our value or our keys that we're going to be inserting. So we're going to do dot substring and because we're going to have an extra comma at the end we want to strip it off and that's what this is going to be doing right here. So dollar sign keys zero so we're starting at um, the zero point and we're going to go back one and my best explanation for this is it'll start at the end because you're, you're going back one so it really doesn't have any place to start so to really start at the beginning um, but it'll strip off the last uh, the last character and you can do two or three if you want to strip off more um, but I'm just going to leave this and then we'll close out that and now we'll add in our values and do the same thing substring value oops values oh don't mind that I was rendering out my other video uh, values zero minus one All right, so now our SQL should appear something like this. Insert into table ID name, L name. I'm just randomly typing these in, so don't, this isn't actually what it's going to be. Values 1, Nick. So that's what it should spit out. All right, and next we're going to do if it does have an ID then we want to update it so I'm going to do dollar sign class vars is equal to get underscore class vars get class this and really what I could do is I could take this out of both of these and put it above but I'll just leave it as is uh, for right now All right. SQL dot equals Oops, update this table and set. Okay. So now we're updating whatever our table is and we're setting our values. for each class vars as dollar sign key just cleaning some code up um, for each so we're again we're going to skip over uh, ID and table so I'm just going to copy this and yeah, I'm not going to copy that. So there's that. And then now we're just going to append to SQL our key value is equal to, and then in single quotes, we're going to put our this dash key. So whatever our value is for our um, object, rather than whatever we're getting from the uh, from the class vars. And the reason why I'm doing this, I ran into a problem if I were to just do value, um, it wouldn't actually update. It would actually store old information and it was making it difficult for me to figure out why I was having issues with uh, with trying to get uh, the database to update correctly. So, and then the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to strip off the last um, 
comma and the space that, that gets put in for those values. So I'm going to do substring SQL 0, negative 2, where ID is equal to this dot ID. All right, and the reason why I'm doing this is so that way it'll only update the record where the ID is equal to whatever I have loaded into this object. So that all looks correct. That's correct. Load. And the, the load uh, query is probably the easiest one. We're just selecting star from oops, this table where ID is equal to whoops single quote this table no ID and that's it so That is our table object. Um, I actually might go into a fourth video. That's uh, kind of scary. Um, anyways, so we have our uh, table class all set up. And I'm just going to minimize that. So we have the two basic pieces that we need. But now we need to create an object that extends table. And in order to do that, we do right click new PHP file, user dot class dot php and the only thing you really need to do is create a class call it user and extend table and then from here you do var dollar sign f name is equal to null var dollar sign l name equal to null and var dollar sign email is equal to null. So now we have our user class and what this should do is it should um, extend the table so we'll have ID and our table that we're going to be using which actually we do need to set our table and I have to actually no you don't have to put protected table is equal to users all right all right so we have our user class created the last piece that is missing is we have to create our bootstrap file or our index.php file so we do that new index.php click on finish we want to include a slash database dot class dot php include table.class.php and include user whoops dot class dot php all right so now we create a new uh, database object and set that equal to database get instance so it's going to get an instance of itself and dbo connect localhost root user no password and we're going to be using test patterns as our database and then our user object equals new user and we're going to do user dot load grab one our record our first record so number one and we are going to echo let me make sure those are okay those are public so we'll do echo user f name actually I'll wrap this in quotes make it easier for myself Alright, so I'll save that 
and I have to go back over to don't mind that uh, YouTube so we'll get rid of this and we have our test patterns and this is the one that I created the one that we've been working on this active record one is I went over the time so I'm gonna stop the video and go into another video